previously we have seen how to run search in a normal mode in python sdk in this video we will talk about how to run the same search in blocking mode in python sdk so if we just recap what we have done previously so we have seen there are four ways we can run search in python sdk in normal mode blocking mode one shot mode and export mode so we already talked about normal mode where the search run asynchronously and basically first it will return the search job id immediately then behind the scene it will run that particular search so that's why we need to poll the job status periodically just to see whether the job has been finished or not then if the job has been finished then we will be retrieving the results to do some other stuff with that particular result now in blocking mode what happens is it, it is basically synchronous in nature that means when you will be running a search in a blocking mode it does not return the job id until and unless the search has been finished and all results are in that's the basic difference between running a search in a normal mode and running a search in a blocking mode so now if we just go to the demo and see how we can run that particular search in a blocking mode let's let's try to run a search in blocking mode in 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 python sdk so if you remember previously what we have done it we created this particular script correct where we written a method to connect to the splunk we used that splunk lib client to create a service object and using that service object connect method we connected to the splunk we did we did the basic authentication over here now when and we also developed another method called run normal mode search there we used that same service object we created in that connect to splunk method and then we passed a search string and a payload this particular payload we just provided the exact mode which is nothing but normal for the normal mode search now there we did something like if you see we created a infinite loop to see when the job has been finished or not if the job has been finished then we are just breaking that loop and then getting the result because in the normal mode the job id will be returned immediately and then the job will be running in asynchronous mode and that's why we need to check whether the job has been finished or not before we get the result now in in case of blocking mode search we do not need this particular stuff so let's let's create a method for to to run a blocking mode search so what i'll do it i'll just copy this one and we will name it something like blocking mode run blocking mode search we'll be having same splunk service we'll need to pass a search string and we need to pass a payload we will see what what value we'll be putting it over here now we need to use the same jobs dot create method to create the job but here the job id will not be immediately returned because until unless the search has been finished so in that case we do not need to periodically check whether the job is done or not so this looping is not required because this job this particular variable will not have any value until unless the search is finished so it is automatically handled so so just to be sure the job has run we know how to check the content of that job so it returns a lot of information about that particular job like the earliest time latest time lot of other informations so we can we, we will see that using this job dot content which we have discussed in previous video as well now once this job id has been returned we know automatically if we run this particular search in a blocking mode the results are also available then we can use this result reader to get the result as is what we are doing it for the normal mode now for the blocking mode the payload will be changing now in the main method what we were doing previously we were using this connect to splunk method to create the splunk service then we created a search string we just ran a simple search with our tmdb index and we are just tabling couple of fields over here now in the payload 
we were passing exec mode equals to normal in that case. So for the blocking mode, what we need to do it is exec mode has to be blocking. O C K I N G blocking. So that's the difference between a normal mode and the blocking mode search. So once we set up this particular payload, we can run this one. So let's copy this and comment this out. So we'll copy this and we will paste this one. We will comment this one and we will this time we will be running the blocking mode search. So we need to have the same we need to pass the same Splunk service, the search string and the payload, which is currently having the exec mode as blocking. So let us run this one and try to see what kind of information it is returning. So ideally, if everything goes fine, it will print the job content and also it will print the result as well from that particular search. So if I just run this one, so if you see it over here, Splunk service created successfully, it is coming from this particular method. And if I just make it a big, so this is the job content. If you see it has a lot of information like whether the job has been failed or not, what kind of search we are running it, lot of other information related to that particular job. So if you want to have, if you want to use this particular information for further processing, you can use this particular dictionary for that. And this is the search result from our TMDB index, right? So, so we, we basically fetched the ID, movie ID, the original language, original title, these three columns. So it is basically returning as a dictionary object here. So you can just loop it through and try to do something with the search result. So this is how we can run a search, a Splunk search as a blocking mode from Python SDK. And if you see it over here, we have what we have done it, we have run this particular search outside Splunk using a Python SDK. So hopefully this video was helpful. In next video, maybe we'll be talking about how to run a search in one shot mode. See you in next video.